Hi, my name is Jose Gutierrez. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Westlands Water District. I'm also an engineer at Westlands. And I'm here to talk about precipitation and the amount of snow that we've received and the um, expected increase in allocation that we're all hoping for going forward. The last time we spoke was in early February and I discussed at that time the amount of precipitation that was measured in California. And at that time I made a statement that we were slightly above average and conditions have gotten much better and I'd like to illustrate that. So in early February the precipitation was slightly above this blue shaded area which represents the average and this blue line represents the current precipitation totals for the northern sierra eight station index now in early february we were around 31 inches of total precipitation which was slightly above average but today the latest measurement shows that we're about 51 inches of total precipitation so in one month we've gained 21 or 20 inches of precipitation and we are well above average for this time. And if precipitation continues, we will likely end up somewhere around 60 to 65 inches total for the year. And I'd also like to illustrate that for in this bar chart. As you can see, these little tick lines represent the averages for the month. And this is what we measured in February. 21.7 inches when the average is 8.2. So we're well above average in February, and March is actually starting off pretty well also. Average for March is 7.6 inches, and we're currently at about three inches, so we're doing pretty well. And with rain in the, in the forecast, we'll probably hit our average and hopefully even exceed it. It's not just precipitation that is, is, um, has been above average. Our snow level and snow water content is also above average. The blue shade represents you know, average, um, average for all years, and the solid blue line represents where we are today. And today for the, the, nor for the northern parts of the Sierra, today we finally reached what we experienced back in 2016-17, and that was the wettest year on record. So we're doing very well, and snow is extremely important because snow is our natural reservoir. When the snow melts in the summer, it recharges the reservoirs during our peak irrigation, so we can use that and then, then deliver it to our water users. Now, what does all this mean for allocation? When Reclamation came out and announced the allocation at 35%, that was in the middle of February, and they were actually using data that was um, from early February, so they were looking at data that they had collected through the end of January, so it's slightly old data, and Reclamation didn't have the recent information on precipitation. So when they came out with their allocation, and because of their, their process for analyzing and calculating the allocation, they have to be pretty conservative, assuming that the forecast or the weather will be pretty dry going forward. So when they came out with their allocation in the middle of February, you know, they were assuming that, and again, because of the, the way the calculation is made, that conditions would continue slightly or below average. And if that happened, the precipitation would have ended up below average. Luckily, uh, the rains continued in, in February, and Reclamation will now have this most recent data that they can use when they're analyzing what the allocation forecast should be. So we're all hopeful that when Reclamation comes out with an, announce, an announcement um, later this month, that the announcement will reflect the snow levels that we've seen, the precipitation that we've experienced, and come up with an increased allocation. And based on my numbers, um, I think we could easily be above a 70% allocation um, going forward. And that's what we're all hoping. Hopefully next month when we speak again, uh, I'll be proven right and we're above 70%. So thank you very much and talk to you next time.